Hey guys, welcome to the Christian Fitness Studio. I'm Ali, and today's workout is a weighted Tabata workout. We're working for 20 second rounds, but we're building that strength. Grab some dumbbells and let's get started. Okay, of course, we gotta get started with our warm up. We're gonna start just with the steps side to side. Our warm up is short and sweet, so hang out here with me for just a little bit to get the blood flowing, wake up your body, get your mind set. Right, all right, we are here because we get to work out, we get to move our bodies, and we want to be able to keep moving our bodies. All right, there is a whole lot of purpose in getting up and moving, and not only is it just for our physical care, but also your mindset as well. I can tell you the days that I'm sure that I'm working out, I sure start a whole lot better. And of course, maybe you're ending your day as well, that's totally fine. I think whatever works for you and for your schedule and how you're built is the best way to include a good old workout in your routine. So of course I've got dumbbells with me today. Um, I've sort of got a challenging set because we're only working for 20 second rounds. All right, let's sink down and step side to side. And so grab a little bit of a heavier set, but something that you can use for upper body and for lower body. Of course, a lot of things we do upper body, especially if it's over the head, you can switch to just a single weight. So don't let that stop you from really challenging yourself and grabbing something that feels just a little bit heavier. Okay, side step, get a little lower, breathe and move. All right, let's reach and knee, reach and knee, activating that core. Great job, great job. All right, we're gonna straight leg it, tap, release, tap, release. Feel how your core gets involved here. Heels to the glutes, reach and pull, pull them back, breathe and pull. Great job, great job. All right, let's do some step jacks, step and tap, step and tap. Moving again, the upper body, we're getting that movement. We're getting the blood flowing. If you feel good, you can give me a real jumping jack, taking the time. Great job, you guys. Grab a little bit of water if you like before we get into the real fun, all right? Breathing in, breathing out. All right, our first move is an overhead press. We're gonna grab our weights. All right, put them up to our shoulders. 20 seconds to push, press, all right? Breathe and press. Push, release. Push, release. Now, of course, if you've got a lighter weight and you're feeling good, you can go a lot quicker than I am going. If you've got that challenging weight, you're gonna push, release, and pause. All right, our next move is a squat. You knew it was coming. Feet just outside the hips. I put my weights onto my shoulders. Down and lift, down and lift. Squeeze and brace. Work and brace. Squeeze. All right, back into our overhead presses. 20 seconds, brace that core, control it, and let's do it. Press, press, squeeze, and push. Great job, you guys. All right, into those squats again. Strengthening those legs. Getting stronger, feet just outside the hips. 20 seconds, down and push. Again, the things you control here. Your weight for one, your speed for the other, and your range for that final one. Get nice and low and push. 
Whew. All right, overhead press, pushing, shaping, changing. Get ready, let's do it. Come on. Great job. Breathing and pushing into our squat. Feet just outside the hips. And let's do it. Down and lift. Down and lift. Come on. Get low. Get that range. And release. All right, you guys. Whew. One more time for each move. Let's fight for it. I'm switching to that single weight for the press. Keep pushing. Keep shaping. Keep changing. Great job. All right, listen to your body for these squats. Try as you can. Keep that full weight. Push down. 20 seconds. Come on. And release and breathe and grab some waters and stretch it out good job you guys breathe and release my upper body is definitely feeling the challenge all right going into round number two we've got some bent over rows been doing these fiddle the hip we're gonna do one side then the other side so one then the other grab those weights and let's do it tilt row 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 now again the things you control your speed your range get that weight all the way up there and then the weight this isn't challenging you get some heavier weight all right, next one, we've got a lunge. We're gonna step one leg back, and we're gonna pulse a good old lunge. All right, take it back, get low, and pulse. Squeeze, breathe, feel it. Breathe, you guys. and release. That 20 seconds felt a whole lot longer. All right, back to our rows. Tilt at the hips. Squeeze. Row. 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 Come on. Squeeze. Focus. Keep moving. Release. All right, we are lunging on the opposite side. Whew. Opposite leg back. Get ready. 20 seconds. Pulse. Squeeze. And row. Or not row, and lunge. Pulse. Come on. Keep going. And we're back up. All right, back to our rows. Whew. This time, if you're feeling good, add in a rotation. All right, it's gonna go like this. Rotate, look up. Rotate, look up. Pull it back. Squeeze. And rotate.
All right, back into our lunges, you guys. Hang in there. Keep giving me that range. Get low in it. And let's go. Pulse that lunge. Squeeze. Breathe. Nice and low. Five more seconds. Great job. Drop those weights for a second. We'll row it again. Keep that rotation if you're able. Here we go. Rotate. Rotate. Let's go, let's go. Core tight. All right, you guys, let's finish set number two. Lunging, opposite side. Let's do it. Take it back, pulse, and lunge. Chest is lifted, legs are getting stronger. Come on. and release. Drop those weights. Take a second to breathe. Good stuff, you guys. Good stuff. You can feel the change happening, right? You gotta break down those muscles so they come back better. If you're not working hard, you're not increasing that weight, you're not up for the challenge, you're not gonna break down those muscles, then they're not gonna come back even better. All right, moving into round three, we've got a bicep curl. We're gonna curl and curl. Notice how I'm rotating that weight. So I've got it in that neutral position, and then I rotate it on up. Breathe and curl. And pause. All right, next we've got a bowler's lunge. Take it back at an angle, sink, and pulse. So again, some lunge pulses. We're in a bowler's lunge. Our back leg is at an angle. Sink down. Breathe and pulse. Down and up, down and up. Whew, good job. All right, back into our bicep curls. I gotta shake it off for a second. All right, back into our bicep curls. Whew. Bring it up. Curl. 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 See that rotation? But it is controlled. All right. All right, we've got that lunge on the other side. Opposite leg, back. Whew. Let's get ready. Let's do it. Back at an angle and pulse. Down and lift, down and lift. Now you notice I'm coming down, I'm coming up. I'm coming down, I'm coming up. I'm getting more range in this one than we did exactly in the regular lunge. Whew. All right, keep fighting. Keep fighting to change, all right? We've got those curls again. You ready? Let's do it. Curl and curl. Breathe and breathe. Come on. Whew. All right. I can hang out with those, but we gotta get into those lunges. Opposite leg back, bowler's lunge. Whew. And let's do it back. Down and lift, down and lift. Make sure you can see that front leg. My knee and toes are following each other. Here, I turn sideways. Down and lift, down and lift. Whew. Release. All right, 
<sighs> Curls. You ready for it? Let's do it. Bicep curl. Control. Come on, breathe through it. Working hard. Feeling the change. Let's go. And pause. All right, one more, you guys. One more. You're already there. Bowler's lunge, opposite side. Show me some range. Back at an angle. Down and lift. Down and lift. Feel how this works the legs differently than that regular lunge. Glutes are bracing and working in a whole new way. Pause. Whew. Drop those weights and breathe with me. Breathe and release. That was round three. We've got one more round, all right? So hang in there. All right, one more. Whew. We're going for some tricep extensions. I'm definitely using a single weight for these. Of course, set back at home, you got two lighter weights. Feel free to do so. But let's grab our weight. Our weight, take it behind the head. And we're gonna extend. Drop it back, push, extend. Drop down, extend. Now keep your core tight and bracing. So we're dropping down. Full extend, all right? Whew. Next move, we're doing some deadlifts. Follow me for these, you've got good form first. All right? Whew. Grab your weight, push your hips back, back is flat, and then you stand up. I'm feeling this all along the back of my legs. Down and lift, down and lift. So get that control. Whew. Give it control. Oh, sorry, there was a mosquito on me. All right, we're into mosquito season here. All right, take that um, weight back behind you. Take it back and we push. Down and up, down and up. Push it, brace it, work it. Come on. And release, nice job. All right, back into those deadlifts. So listen, form first, back is flat. You're tilting up the hips. You're pushing those hips back. That's our timer. Down and lift. Down and lift. Back and lift. Core is tight here. Whew. Release. All right, now into our tricep extensions. We're working hard. We're doing it. Here we go. Extend and push. Down, extend. Come on. Whew. Nice job. Make sure you're getting that full range. You'll feel it. All right. Into our deadlifts. This time, if you're feeling good, you're feeling confident with your deadlift, take one leg back. You're going to single leg and lift. This, of course, depends if you're feeling good with it. All right. Feeling good with it. You're going to work a little bit on that balance. Down and lift. And release. Great job. All right. Still fighting. We've got one more of these tricep extensions. So don't be afraid of it. Just get ready. Push. Shape. Change. Let's do it. Down, extend. Down, extend. Release, great job. 
All right, into our deadlifts. Choose the single leg, leg option if you're feeling good. All right, this is it, you guys. Down and lift, down and lift. Back is flat, core is tight. Come on. And release. <sighs> Drop your weights, put them away. We don't need them. We are cooling down. Shoulders roll. Now I will warn you guys before you completely stop on me. Um, a real Tabata round workout is gonna be eight rounds. We did four. So if you're picking up what I'm putting down, if you're feeling good, you've got time, repeat this workout one more time through, all right? Depends on you, depends on your time, depends on your weight. If you really use a challenging weight, I've got a feeling those four rounds are perfectly fine. All right, inhale, breathe in. But maybe on a day you can plan to come back and do full eight rounds. All right, breathe and reach. Take it to the other side. Breathe in, breathe out. Great job, inhale, lift those hands. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward, head drops, arms drop. Hold this as I share a verse with you. Our verse today comes from James 4. You got two through three. It says you lust and you have not. You kill and you desire to have and you cannot obtain. You fight and war and yet you have not because you ask not. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your lusts. All right, let's go ahead and slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. And so most of you know I've been studying a decent amount on prayer. I'm going to be teaching a prayer conference here soon. And so it's been a blessing to be forced to study a little bit of, on that. And of course, this verse came up um, just through reading. And one of the reasons, the roadblocks to prayer, is that we don't ask. Verse two is saying you have not because you ask not. You don't have because you don't ask. And so I encourage you today, are you lacking, are you lacking in faith? Um, are you lacking in boldness and courage to share the gospel? Um, of course, if it's according to God's will, he wants to give us those things. And so I encourage you, ask, um, ask him. And then the second verse that we read, verse three, is saying, okay, here they have, the people have the opposite problem. Take our feet out wide. They don't have because they're asking selfishly. They're asking for themselves. Um, just to spend it on their own lusts is what it says. Let's take your hands to the other side. And so maybe you don't have the problem of asking, but maybe you're asking for the wrong motives. And you know, we can ask for the right things, things that are biblical, things that are um, according to the Bible, that are God's will, but selfishly, and I don't think God's going to answer those prayers. Um, it sounds kind of crazy. How can you ask for something like that selfishly that silly roll up? But if we're thinking of ourselves, um, thinking of our own ego, then God's not going to answer that. Let's inhale, breathe in. Um, I think an easy example for me would be, you know, I want this YouTube channel to grow. I really do. <laughs> but am I doing that for myself? So people can be like, oh, she's a, she's a really cool YouTuber. Or am I doing it because I want God's name to be great? And so you see, asking for that is not wrong. But I, and, and you as well, should always be checking our motives, our motives for our prayer. I think we can, we can start our prayers off asking God to help us to see our motives and to help us be motivated only to make his name great, not our own. All right, let's inhale, breathe in. Exhale, release. But I do want to say, God does want to answer your prayers. And he'll breathe in. Exhale, release. And we can be confident in that he hears us. And he'll breathe in one more. 
and release. Thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you're feeling good, you're feeling strong, or maybe the opposite. Maybe you're feeling a little weak because you work so hard, but you'll wake up tomorrow feeling even stronger. Have a great day, you guys. Let's go out there. Let's be light in a dark world. I'll see you guys next time.